Hello everybody, now I will try to show you the process of uh, applying uh, Paraloid to Metroite. First, after the slices are uh, leveled, polished, I use old uh, chicken uh, tool. <laughs> it's very, very old, but it's very effective. So inside is like 120 or, or more, I, I don't know. It's not very important. The slices are drying right now. Then here I have a special uh, a place for small slices. This is my magnetic uh, mixer where I mix uh, acetone with paraloid. Ah. Okay, so this is nine centimeters wide, so I can put here nine centimeter slice. It is important to make the acetone a little hot, so I use this kind. Chinese aquarium uh, heater. This one is 50, 50 watts. It's metal because I, I have seen also uh, glass uh, heaters, but I think the metal one will be much, much more secure. We don't want glass to be broken inside the acetone because this will blow up. So, so I put the heater and this will be slowly heating up to 30, 34, 35 degrees. So it's safe. It will be he hot, but just nothing, uh, nothing aggressive. And uh, uh, slowly, slowly. Uh, mixing. This is my paraloid box. This is how this looks like. It's transparent. This is 44. There is 67. For now, I use only uh, 44. This is how the heater work inside the acetone is very very cool effect you can call it five seconds before blowout <laughs> Slices are dry and yes, they are very hot. I can keep them, but they are like 40 or, or near 50 degrees. So let's take first one. Oh, wow. Yes, about 50. <laughs> Which one handed this will be a little difficult, but yes. Uh, it's whew, it's hot. We want slices hot uh, the way that we can keep them easy without pain. This one is a little too hot, but I think this will be okay. First of one, we need this very sharp to when we hold the slice, we will leave very very thin marks on the slice because in the place where will be 
and uh, how this is called I don't know <laughs> uh, there will be little marks if the para if there will be more paraloid the markings will be more visible than if you have a small content of uh, paraloid so I wait okay so we put slice like that so at the end the slice will be the smaller to use the uh, liquid um, strange how this is called not not put slice like this or or this way because the last fragment will be too wide we need to put slice like this always and that's it it's already dry because paraloid is very very fast uh, this is a very fast uh, I don't know <laughs> and you see you don't see anything on the surface only maybe here where was this, the tool hmm. there is uh, here there is little little marks but also on the crust, crust side on the edge it's invisible let's take another slice and we do this smooth not too fast and it's it's okay it's ready hot slice inside the hot acetone when you put it out uh, the acetone disappear very very fast it's disappearing faster than the slice leave the container that's why uh, it's important to hit both sides, specimen and the acetone. If you put cold slice into cold acetone, the acetone will be more uh, dense and it will leave uh, something like rollover leaping on the edge. And also can be marks on the bottom because when you put it out, the acetone will be dense and we will leave here um, a more uh, thin, a more thick layer, so there there will be markings on the slice. So it's important. So guys, it's easy. And and this slice, it's already, it's already waterproof and remember also that if you put hot slice there will be a boiling acetone so we put it out very slow to keep this uh, sponge, these bubbles on the surface of acetone. If we put too fast, this uh, these bubbles will stay on the slice. They will uh, um, the acetone will evaporate, and will the bubbles will leave the round markings of paraloid. So we need to put not too fast, 
but slowly and the, uh, these bubbles on the edge, on the level of, of uh, acetone will work like uh, the sponge <laughs> inside your bathroom. Bubbles will remove too much acetone from the surface, like normal sponge. So there will be not uh, much acetone on the surface, the layer will be thin. And of course, after I apply Paraloid, it's good to keep the slices again and dry the acetone from the inter interior of the slice from layer of, of acetone and Paraloid. I have automatic turn off after 15 minutes, so I turn it, turn it on and I can leave.